All right, you guys ready for some Oz Only Dying? As I lay dying, 94 hours. This is uh, for my subscriber, Stephen Potter. He's brother of Harry Potter, and they have a hairy daughter. That's what I hear. All right, so drop C for your tuning on this. This is like a heavier version of like Maiden or something. I don't know. Check it. Here we go. Anyways, you ready? Let's do it. Drop C. It's deep. So um, there's two guitars. So we're gonna hit this first one as a power chord, open E and A, and then a lot of pull-offs. We're gonna go 3D pull to open, f uh, 7D pull to open, back to the 3D pull to open. So and then 5D pull that to open. So. 3D pull open. So. And then go 2D, pick, hammer 3, pull to 2. And then hit the, the open E and A again. So we have... Actually hit the E and A twice. And then start it over. Up to there. You don't have to do the, the second time. Instead, you go 3A, 5D, down, up, down. And then open E and A again. And at that point, you're starting the whole progression over. So. And then uh, the next part will be this. And that's 7G pick and pull off to an open. 10G pick, pull off to open. And I'd go like index pinky and then index third, so. And then back to 7G, pull off to open. And then 9G, pull off to open. That's going to go, I think it's three times. Yep, so three of them. One of them is this. So do that times three. And then I call these the corn chords. Go 9D, 5G. Palm mute the open E, and then go 5A, pinch harmonic. So... So. And the next part goes. So, 7G, you're going to pick that, pull it off to open. 10G, pick that, pull it to an open. So. Wait, did I already show you the... Yeah, the three times. And then we did the corn thing. So after you do the corn thing, where you go... Then you're going to go... Open E and A, down, down, up, up, down. And if you don't feel comfortable with that progression, that's fine. I don't care if you want to downstroke at all, but the beat's got to be... But it'll sound more like that if you alternate this. Down, down, up, up, down. And then you do this part. 7G, pull off to open. 10G, pull off to open. So. And then 7G, open. 9G, open. And those are pull-offs. Just like that other part we did. Now it's mixed in with these power chords. 
And then the next time, it's open E and A, and you go down, up, down, up, up, down, palm muted. And then that leads into the corn chords again. Okay, so that whole little part is going to be this. So, it's just alternating, you see? So. Now, when you're preparing for the corn chord, it's a good time to kind of get it set because you're playing opens anyways, watch. Right here. They're ready to go, right? Okay, so there you go, man. As I lay dying, 94 hours. If you have any questions, you guys let me know. That's what I'm here for. Um, killer song, man. Glad you made the request. I think I have a couple more As I Lay Dying's on, on my channel, and I'll keep them coming. <coughs> and uh, check it out. A few things I want to talk to you guys about. Um, there's a temporary rockinguitarlessons.com up right now. You know, it's a cool looking site, but the official one is coming real soon, and they'll merge. You know, actually, one will be gone, and the new will be there. Um, two things on there go to the contact information tab fill out your email and your name critical if you um, actually that's what only thing I require for you guys to make requests it's a new thing I'm doing now um, it only takes 30 seconds man is to go to the website and put in your email information contact information the next thing is um, if you're interested in some private lessons with me for guitar or bass on Skype or vocals through my wife Jolene there's a page on, on the website says Skype lessons click it it'll show you the price breakdown and how it works it talks a little bit about it and the requirements and what you need real simple it's a really cool effective way becoming my primary way of teaching is um, worldwide now I'm, I'm loving it because before I did this I was uh, held captive to the city that I was in unless I wanted to drive to another city which I've done many times and I still do but um, that's coming to a close really quick because the Skype lessons are taken off. I've got people on waiting lists for certain days and times. So um, it's a really effective way. It's the same as it's a private lesson. And we can work on whatever you want to work on. Complete songs and perfect them, man, and, and get you solid and, and subgrouping these things to where they sound right, feel right, all that stuff. If you're interested, um, go check that out at, on the website. Um, but you will need to add me or Jolene on Skype. I'm rocking guitar lessons. She's rocking JoJo. And, um, you know, if it's for vocals, obviously, add her and tell her you're interested in lessons. And same with me. Um, my PayPal email, which is how most of my Skype students pay. Um, if you would like to donate to this channel, that's the email that you would use. TVXPunk at AOL.com. If you can't, no pressure, guys. Keep coming and have fun and learn. Then that's what it's really about. Uh, and tell your buddies, your friends that are in bands, people playing, you know, the weekend warriors, you know, gigging out on the weekend and then working nine to five, Monday through Friday. Send them my way, tell them I'll hook them up, and I'll get these songs right for them. And if it's um, an instrument that isn't on guitar, but you want it transcribed to guitar, I love doing that. Everything has a pitch. My voice, an airplane flying over, a car going down the street, and as it gets further away, it descends in pitch. It's a bunch of crazy stuff like that. So anyways, um, so make sure to subscribe too to both the channels. This one as well as uh, Rocking Guitar Lessons 2, which is my In the Style of channel. I should do it In the Style of As I Day, Li uh, as I day Lying. Um, I think someone made a request for that. I'll have to check my book here and see, but I think someone did. I know I did a bullet for my Valentine In the Style of. Anyways, I'll check it out. Subgroup, guys. Take it in small pieces, perfect what you're playing because it's pointless to just put half, go half-hearted in something. If you want it to sound right, take your time, man. Don't rush it. And once you get it down, it'll never be an issue again. And because you worked hard on that one, next time that technique comes up in another song or something or you're writing your own thing, it gets easier each time. It's a cool place to be. So, Anyways, I'll jam this for you on the outro. Um, hope you enjoyed the lesson. We'll see you at the next one.
hear an elephant? Check it out. Woo! Or the horse again? And the cars that descend? Motorcycles do it too. Check it out. I hear one coming. Out. 